We have a speed curve here. You can put in your own speed table. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. So you can cut the top speed or you, you can. can Make you, an engine that's easier to switch with versus uh, by, by adjusting exactly how, my point, right? Yeah, how, yeah. How it responds at lower uh, speeds and things like that. Right. For instance, like on my layout, I have a switching layout. So what I do is I drop my top speed down somewhere way down, and then we do what we call a a match ends right here, mm -hmm. and you get a nice spiffy looking curve right there. Nice like that. See that? There you go. Very spiffy. And then you could do, we have function remapping here. Right. Now you notice this is all much easier than trying to go through all of this on, on a pick cab. Pick a CV and add oh, a value. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and refer to a book to figure out what that CV is. And yes. This is, this is nice, it's laid right. out nicely. Right, so when you go through all your tabs, you don't have to really, you don't have to fill out any of this stuff. You could go back in later. If really all you wanted to do was just go in and build a roster entry, mm -hmm and use the only the basic tab, which is right here, mm -hmm. just to get the locomotive going, that would be all you would need to do.